Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in QuickBooks Point of Sale I am going to show you how to use Quick Pick Items. Hey, Quick Pick Items are a feature in Point of Sale uh, which especially lend themselves to touch screens but you can still use them otherwise. It, it's a really quick and easy way to add items to a receipt Maybe these are items that don't easily have a barcode on them, you know, something that somebody picks up out of a bin or some little miscellaneous piece or item that you, you're not going to, you're either not going to tag them all because you have so many or they're just like so small or intangible that they don't have a surface that, that you can easily put a price tag or a barcode on and so you just have a quick and easy button on your make a sale screen uh, where you can quickly use that button to add these items to your receipt. Uh, before we jump into this, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below. You can jump over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there so you can ask all the questions you want about QuickBooks Point of Sale. We have an excellent community with lots of answers flying around, lots of activity over there. It's really great. So if you're on YouTube, you can hit subscribe and get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos coming at you all the time. That's right, go ahead and hit subscribe. Let's get into this. I'm gonna go on the make a sale screen in QuickBooks point of sale. And then you may or may not have a blue button over here that says quick pick items. If you don't have it, you're gonna right click in the gray and customize the buttons so you can get it here. If I hit quick pick items, you will see a pane comes out on the right hand side over here and it may or may not be empty there might be some default groups i don't really remember uh, but you can either use this button up here or use this button down here to add groups um let's see so i'm gonna add a group and it's it's gonna create a button there uh you may want to make this according to departments or just kind of like what type of item it is but you can have all sorts of groups so i'm gonna say like I'm gonna say miscellaneous shirts, and then I'm gonna say um, novelty gifts, something like that, you know. So you can make all sorts of different buttons for all sorts of different groups. Um, meats, I don't know. These are probably gonna be <laughs> things that people pick up and just bring up to the counter and they don't specifically, maybe they have a big sign that says the price, but you didn't wanna price each and every little one. And so you're gonna make it really easy to add to the receipt by putting them here in these groups. I will also mention that you can right click on these groups and you can color code them. It'll help you to quickly and easily um, get a pattern down so you know exactly what's what. It'll make it just much easier to recognize which one's which if they're not all the same color. And so here, I'm going to show you two different ways that you can add items to these quick pick groups and then we'll go through checking out using them. So if I'm going to add an item to the shirts group, I click on the shirts group and up here I can hit add item. And I'm just going to type in shirt. It's going to list all my shirts here and I can just start adding different shirts to this group. Alrighty. So we got a couple of shirts in there. Uh, let me go ahead and add one more. Do, do, do. I'm the best shirt. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to show you the second way to add stuff to a quick pick group in a moment here. But I will also mention uh, that you may want to view these in two different manners. If I click on this right side here, it actually gives you a picture of the different uh, items that's super helpful if if you need to identify what the items are uh, the text does get a little crunched here so if you <laughs> if you have too much going on you might not be able to tell what the price is and stuff it does have the name at the top uh, but you can switch kind of back and forth this shows the price a little better but this actually shows uh, the picture so yeah choose which one works for you uh, now we're going to show you the other way to add items to the quick pick groups. And before I do that, I will also mention that um, 
actually no I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on that all right so I'm gonna leave out of here I'm gonna go to the home screen I'm gonna go to the item list and while you are creating items you can also add them without having to be on the make a sale screen so I'm gonna find all right we got a charm necklace I'm gonna call that I'm gonna say that's a novelty gift item or whatever so if I was creating or editing the charm necklace as you can see here you can see right here we got quick pick group and if I drop down it's going to show me all the quick pick groups that I have created so I'm gonna say this is a novelty gift I'm gonna hit save and what else do we have here um, I'll say the sharp pocket knife is also a novelty gift there we go and what else do we have here's here's why I made the meat section because I knew I had like a piece or two of, of meat I guess I've got a premium boneless cut up here I've got a summer sausage down here uh, so if I hit edit quick pick group meats save and then I suppose you know what I'm, I'm curious to know if I customize my columns can we do quick pick group on here PQ nope nope looks like we cannot add quick pick group to this main table here so you're gonna have to edit each one or be, be creating it and you can add it to the appropriate quick pick group all right now I'm gonna show you actually making a sale and using that uh, so if I'm on the make sale screen I hit quick pick items uh, I'm gonna hit meats and I'm gonna hit premium boneless cut now you will notice that once I hit that button on the quick pick group it disappears completely and I have to hit quick pick items again however if you hit the little pin up here it will actually keep this open so I can hit miscellaneous shirts I can add this shirt add this shirt and then I can go back up to groups I can go to novelty gifts and hit charm necklace and it doesn't go away because I have the pin in here and then when I'm done I can hit the X if I want to get rid of it or you know you don't even have to get rid of it you can just continue checking out and take cash and be on your merry way of course like I said if you have a touch screen these are really easy to hit with your fingers and really quick um, yeah there you go that is quick pick items and in QuickBooks point of sale that is an excellent way to help uh, with items that don't necessarily have tags as well as just being really quick if you have a touch screen or even mouse uh, my name is Peter with BlackRock Business. If you have comments or questions, leave them below. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and smash that like button. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you later now. You have a stupendous day.